Jingle and Bell's Christmas Story, written by Carolina Parsons, illustrated by Carolina Parsons, and narrated by Carolina Parsons. Dedication page. I dedicate this story to one of my favorite Christmas books and my cat, which is kind of the cat in the story, but the story is fiction, so it didn't really happen. Everyone in town wanted a dog or cat, but no one wants both a dog and cat. So this is where Jingle and Bell's Christmas story begins. Jingle and Bells met when they were babies. They had no parents and they had to live in town. They began to become best friends. Jingle and Bells started to do everything together and became inseparable. They ate together and slept together and would go to school together to visit the kids. They always wanted to be together and have lots of fun. Jingle and Bells went to the school to visit the children. Jingle and Bells loved the children and the children loved them too. One of the kids asked every day where their home was, but they didn't have a home. One of the kids shouted and said, Jingle and Bells don't have a home. That's why we need to find them one. Jingle and Bells got very excited. So did the kids and the kids decided to make a great plan to ask their parents if they could have a dog and cat because Jingle and Bells had to be together and the kids knew that. But the next day, everyone said that their parents wouldn't let them have a dog and cat, just a dog or cat. The kids were sad because they thought they let Jingle and Bells down, but they didn't give up. It was Christmas time, so the kids decided to come up with a plan to ask Santa to find Jingle and Bells a good home. They started to send letters to Santa. Soon, Santa started to get the letters and was shocked by how many kids sent letters about Jingle and Bells. So, Santa started to get to work. It must have been important because there were so many letters. He decided that he would go through his nice kids list and see who wanted a dog and cat. Santa didn't have anyone on his list that wanted a dog and cat. They only wanted a dog or a cat. So Santa decided to put it off to the side for a bit. Before Jingle and Bells knew it, Christmas was almost over. It was Christmas Eve and they still didn't have a home. But Jingle and Bells didn't let that get to them. So they decided to go to bed for the night. They found a nice big red bag. It was cozy and warm. They both lay down and cuddled to stay warm. Now, what Jingle and Bells don't know is that they were both in Santa's toy bag, and that's when Santa got to see Jingle and Bells. They were so cute and tired, too. The next day, Jingle and Bells were in a warm, big place right next to a fireplace with a big, roaring fire. They both got up and looked around. There was a chair, 
for someone that's quite big, and there was two food dishes with the names Jingle and Bells. Jingle and Bells were very excited, and then they saw Santa. They were confused, but still happy. They hear Santa's big, cheerful voice say, Merry Christmas, little ones. Santa tells Jingle and Bells how all the little kids at the school sent letters asking if Santa could help find Jingle and Bells a home together. Jingle and Bells were very happy to hear that, but Santa said that he still has a surprise for Jingle and Bells. He said that he couldn't find anyone that wanted a dog and cat, so he said, I will be taking care of you from now on, and you will get to live at the North Pole. Jingle and Bells were excited because they would be together instead of being apart. He also said that they would be great helpers and great pets. Santa also said that Jingle and Bells would be able to see their very good friends at the school every year around Christmas. The end.